instruments have like how they're actually designed for a specific skill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, most of them, again, they're like made for either E flat or B flat. But the C one I've played, it's so fucking weird. Because, like, you're used to having to sit back, and you're only used to having to, like, not even put any effort in playing. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, I actually need to, like, put effort into playing. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck just happened? Yeah. But, like, well, um, what's weird as hell is that, like, I, I'm pretty good at playing, but, um, anyone who plays saxophone, it's almost guaranteed that you are a lazy fucker. Like, you are, you are a very laid back, you're somebody who just does not give a shit. No, I mean, yeah. not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, it's no, 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 I have no, a sax no, no, in the no. other room, I use it just to sample and stuff. I mean, it's not like, you know, I have every fucking... What I'm saying, no, what I'm you saying is... The like, you... Wait, Ed, so do you actually know how to play the saxophone? Yeah, uh, fairly, like, I don't know, I could play some basic, like, uh, uh... I, don't know. I, I only played it. Fuck. Yeah, I only played it for fucking year. No, but what I'm saying is that no. What I'm saying is that like, um, people who choose to play saxophone like during elementary, and actually choose to do it for like school. Mm -hmm. It's based off of I think it was like UW Madison. They did a survey of their students, and they found out that preps, mainly preps, used to play the flute. And the lazy people who just, they play, they play lazy. They just play all laid back, like they're halfway stoned. Mm -hmm. That, that's a saxophone player. They just don't care. Yo, that, that is uh, what I kind of, I'm kind yo, yo, you're right though, you're right though. Yeah. I mean, I think he's right, but there's also like the whole stigma that saxophone's used in a lot of jazz and jazz is a bit of chill music, you know? Meanwhile, flute is used in orchestra and orchestra for his spa to music, you know? So the stigma behind the instrument might help to support your point. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. That's why people choose certain things. Like a lazy person, like, oh, saxophone, jazz, relax. Well, no, 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 I mean, no, no, it's no, totally no, different no. with piano, because that's everywhere. I mean, I, I kind of I thought that when I... Well, I no, what I'm saying is that there's a natural appeal to that based off of, like, your own characteristics. Yeah, and yeah, that based off of the instrument that you choose is what the characteristics you more than likely have. Yeah, I agree. What about what about the clarinet then? Ooh, what that person play that? Uh, I forget what that I mean, one was. What kind of people play the kazoo? Oh wait, me now because I ordered one. And you finally got it? <laughs> it's, it's not here. It's not here yet. But yeah, I am excited. Yeah. It's the real. Um, kazoo. but people who play drums tend to um, they tend to be like. Outgoing, like sporty. Yeah. Like not not necessarily like a jock, but a out very outgoing sporty person. What about people like me who do everything? Like, Chinese, well, I guess we're like I don't know. You're fucking stupid. You didn't even choose it during high school. <laughs> no, I you just don't. got pranked. Sorry. I... You just got pranked so hard. I, like I you're gonna just three and everything, motherfucker. So but no, like um. I'm starting to think about something. I, I just like put some dots together, like like myself, uh, Trent Reznor, fucking like uh, Android Lust. What's her name? Uh, uh, whatever her name is. Like they all had like drug problems or like major health issues, shit like that. And like we're all like people who play like everything. So maybe that's the problem. Like when you're like fucked up in the head and shit, you just like can't pick an instrument and you end up being. Like, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, you do end up pretty fucked up if you have to go through music theory and have to play every instrument. Yeah. I mean, there, there's there's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's not easy. I mean, well, no. Here, here's the thing. Here's well, it's not hard what? actually, but yeah. No, so I'm every, going. Everything correlates in some way. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going this through school for music theory, music production, and keep in mind this is also through like computers. So I actually yeah. have to learn yeah, computer really. language and how music is actually correlated based from data into sound. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just to the point where like. You just want to shoot yourself in the head and just say, "Nope, I'm done." You gotta I have a absolutely... love for it. You gotta have a love for it, man. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. If you do, it, it's just, it becomes the most amazing thing in the world. I mean, it's like I can spend months designing a single sound, um, like literally just sitting there with like, you know, like I have like an Andromeda A6 for example. You just look at that thing. There's like 47, like 42 knobs on it. It's insane and like. I don't know, I'll spend literally, like, just every single day I wake up and I'll continually, like, work on, you know, speaking things so I get, like, a single sound out of it. I mean, you really gotta have a passion for it, and at that point, you, you just, you love it. The more you learn, the more you love. I mean, it's really, 
I don't know. Music's interesting when it comes to that kind of shit. Well, and that, that's that's our voice fault. But no, but like what I'm saying is that like trying to learn, trying to like learn, especially since I'm going through false sale, trying to actually learn this shit and then also having to learn theory mm-hmm. with it too, because I already knew theory. Yeah. But just to go through that, it's like your mind goes numb. Like, it, it legit goes numb. See, I never had that issue. Like, I mean, like I said, I had such a passion from such a young age. But, I, yeah, I remember I started when I was 11. I had, you know, Atari ST and it's like Casio CZ1 and fucking whatever Cubase was called back then. So, I mean, I was so used to it from such a young age that, I mean, it was just like, I don't know. It's like people who train to be an actor or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you just, like, you put no, no, but, uh, see, but, see, that, that's understandable. But... Did you go to school also to have to learn how all of that yeah. as in a synthesizer is transferred from data and from yeah. the circuits oh, yeah. into... Absolutely, okay. that's why, that, yeah, you see like devil fish fucking through oh. grease and everything, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, the fucking hurt. Um, I, I only used to play a bunch of instruments, but I'm not into all that stuff. Oh my uh, god, no, yeah. I remember, no, um... <laughs> I remember my friend actually got to let me use his Moog Model D. <laughs> yeah. I no, play no, the, no, uh, think about this, this, kid, this kid is 16. The, or I, I was 15 at the time. This kid was 16. And he has himself a fucking Moog. Yeah. Of all things, a fucking Moog. Yeah, I haven't had it. Which is like three grand. Yeah, they're expensive. No, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting, uh, what is it, M500 uh, M Power right um, pretty soon here. And, Seven hundred ninety dollars. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna pay sixty bucks a month through a local and I'm uh, shop. Here with some random fuck. Oh my god. Well, and remember, I'm just, I'm disabled, motherfucker. So I mean, I, I'm, I'm paying for it like bit by bit, but it will be worth it in the end. That's just a compressor. That's all it is. I mean, there's nothing, and I yeah. have a thousand software compressors. But you know, I mean, when you really have that much of a love for it, it's. Hey, I'm sorry, Morgan kept trying to say something, and we kept uh, it. No, no, it's cool, man. You guys were having a uh, in-depth discussion about mixers and forty-two knobs and. For like a brief second, my mind went to, f- let's see, 42, so that's got to be, what, 26 pairs of boobs? Anyways, that aside, um, <laughs> that aside, actually no, it'd be, yeah, fuck it, that's never my strong point. Um, I played alto sax in a uh, middle school band, and right in the middle of the year, my uh, reed broke, so I ended up humming uh. every single one of the... Uh, songs at every one of the concerts and we won first place oh, wow. how did you not God. get yourself what hold, hold on hold on no 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 here's something that i have to question here go for why it. did your teacher not get you another re- because we didn't get it didn't work like that like back when we were kids too. no it didn't it, it was yeah no like, it wasn't that Easy. Really? Because I'm like a Yeah, because... That's too many. No, no. I'll, I'll even try to replicate the sound. Like... Like that through a saxophone with a broken reed sounds exactly as if you were yeah. using the saxophone the correct way. Amazing. That's crazy. Yeah, once in, um, once in band class in 8th grade, right, there was this thing across the city called... Uh, I don't know what it was called. I mean, I think, hold that thought, hold that thought. Morgan, were you kind of thinking he was going to go for the, uh, um, the, the American Pie joke event. there? No, no, no. <laughs> I, he yeah, was... Okay, yeah, I was going for he yeah. was just... <laughs> no, no. I, I was... We had to do Ice Castles and, you know, March of the <laughs> Nut... Uh, the uh, Nutcracker March Prince the and the uh, Swan and everything else. And I was just bullshitting my way through that because I was horrible at reading music and playing music. So I was just humming along with everyone else. Like... Well, right, right now for me, I'm actually kind of fucked because my, my issue has been because I'm learning to do it based off a of more computer. Yeah. Shit. Me playing the saxophone is mainly is mainly left off to having to play through community bands, and they only happen like every couple times a year. And I so it's like my people, people learning instruments for some fucking reason. I feel like I don't know why. Hmm? Like I feel there's not so many. Like I feel like not many people are learning how to play, play instruments. Well, no, you don't need one. Yeah, there's no need anymore. So now you can go on like Evo Studio and it. There's all the chords exactly. where you can download. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so easy now. Yeah. I don't know, though. Like, I feel that 
You know, never mind. I think well, it's, a lot, lot, it's a lot less genuine. I think learning to play an instrument, learning to read music and all that definitely helps with the, with the latter. Well, in that, there's, a, there's a, yeah, there's, there's a, a, a book out right now, and it's called, um, shit, I, it's right up here right now, you can download it on, on IOZ. It's called uh, Music Hacking for Electronic Musicians with Ray Harmony, and he talks about that in the book. It's really amazing, but yeah, you're, no, it's, it's there's no need to anymore. I mean, there just isn't. Okay. There's, there's... Uh, the only it's, it's thing hard. that... The only thing is that, like, for, I'm going to say this, for example, if you listen to Dunmouse, he does, he's been doing a lot of piano. That yeah. fucker, he does not, he does not know uh, the language of music. He does not know how to read no. music. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. But he, does he not know how to read music? Are you telling me that? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, he does not know how to read music. Yeah, no. He, he's, openly, he's openly expressed this many times. He does yeah. not know how to read music, but he can actually make... Piano, he can actually make like piano shit yeah. that it's equivalent to, uh, to like a student in college. Yeah, like, yeah. which is yeah. fucking amazing. And also, uh, have you heard so of this guy called Alexander Winter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Alexander Winter is like on the opposite side of the page where he does know how to do all this traditional music stuff and he incorporates that in his electronic music. And like, you get these amazing and like Bach inspired mm -hmm. kind of you know, melodies and arrangements going on in electronic music, which you wouldn't expect from a normal person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why I believe, in a way, that, like, your learning music enriches your music anyway if you're doing it on, like, traditional device and it's just... Yeah, I, I agree. Right. Right. So, like, yeah, there's no doubt about you can, If you... You can, you can... You can still go download, like, a lot of software yeah. that'll, that'll do it for you. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, yeah. After, I, I get, yeah, exactly. After, like, like playing with FL Studio a little bit, I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're like, what's the point of learning a chord? Because you can just, yeah, you don't really I feel like everything I've done in my life is useless regarding the music. I know. Well, well, I know. well, 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 well I, um, in my school right now, I've been using Logic Pro. I've been wanting to use Pro Tools, but guess what? My logic, kid? you learn Logic, man. Because from Logic, you can jump to Reaper. I mean, it, it, once you've learned Logic Pro, there's no piece of software out there that you... I mean, Logic is like the pinnacle right now of teaching you how to use, learn anything. It's like, you know when you're learning, um, like, any instrument? It's like they tell you, like, you learn how to play piano, you can pretty much play everything. It's the same way with Logic and audio software, just DAWs in general. You can, you know, once you learn Logic, you'll be able to use Reaper. FL Studio, fucking Cubase, anything, Pro Tools, you'll be able to use them Actually, all. Actually, I, I think Logic is a little better, to be honest, because hey, it, I, here's I the thing. Too. Well, then this is going to be, at least you and I will be able to know about this. But you can actually, um, a di big difference between, like, that and Ableton or stuff like that is because you can actually create yeah. a synthesizer based off of this giant, yeah. based off this giant rack that they give you. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's know. nice about it. And you can do that in FL Studio as well. And the other thing, um, what's cool about uh, uh, Logic, you can actually program, you know, you can code in your own, like, I mean, you can, like, you can basically rebuild the whole, like, uh, you know, digital audio workstation, however you want it to work, which is amazing. That's fucking and, crazy. And from there, you can do it with Reaper as well, which is free. Um, well, I mean, they asked well, you to give them 20 bucks. Right now, well, you don't have to pirate it. Go, go download Reaper right now. They, they, they say after three days, if you want to, give us $20. If you can't, then don't worry about it. If you are going to use it for, like, you know, commercial purposes, please give us $200. But if you can't, whatever. It's just called, just go Reaper FM. Reaper dot FM. Hmm. It's, it's and what about the Logic Pro get, thing? Is it like that? Well, that's thing? about $1,000. Um, oh no! no. Also, oh, also. And, and you need a Mac. Yeah, no. Get by right the way, on. by the way, Ableton is a joke. Don't bother. Mm, Wait, Logic? Is, I, are you telling me Logic Pro is one thousand dollars? It's around there, yeah. Are you, just, oh, I, yeah, yes, I don't uh, think. Yeah. And, and, well, and, and, and you need a you need a Mac as well. I mean, that's hold on. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. It's mandatory that you need a Mac. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah let me look up how much Logic Pro is right now. Pretty expensive. All right. Well, here's here's something that I would say. I, yeah, Ableton is actually, Ableton is good in terms of um, having to go through automation. Yeah. Because logic is shit for automation. You yeah. can't do automation with shit on it. And that's why, like, I want to be able to do specific effects. Would you it, but I actually can't. Really basic. No, because LS Studio has no real limit. That's the thing. It's the deeper and deeper and deeper you get into it, you find out that you can, like, once again, like, you know, he's talking about making entire, like, instruments and shit out of, like, massive racks of stuff. You can do that in FL, FL Studio as well. Um, they, they keep every iteration of it that comes out, they keep a uh, goal. I, I used to know him. He, they, they keep, um, he keeps, like, having his staff, like, add more and more and more to it. So it's like, okay, well, this program out here, like Logic or Cubase or this, does like all this stuff, so we need to do all that. And then they get like on the cheap, like a bunch of really, really amazing musicians and our, our audio, I'm sorry, um, 
uh, designers to come in and like they have like the best stretching tools, the best this, the best that, the best this. And uh, so like the deeper you get into the, the software, the more you realize like there's nothing you can't do with it except for like one single thing, and that's something that Logic and um, um, Re um, Reaper can do, and that's it. That you can't really reprogram. Um, like like literally going and, and like code your own stuff like like literally like code uh well, you know i want personalization there eh? like is that what you're talking about well like you can like okay like for example on like reaper you can literally like make it into a one giant box where you like just you know where you can you can actually turn reaper into ableton if you wanted to that's the difference what the you, way you, you should yeah you should that's but um it, it's really crazy, and but like with that studio, you don't have to bother with that. And like, um, like what's his name? Um, um, you know, Skrillex or whatever. Like, you know, he uses uh, Ableton. He uses a couple things like that just for his uh, auto like, automations and stuff like that. Of, like, yeah, because automate. I, yeah. Ableton is one of the best when it comes to automation. Yeah. Well, other than that, don't I mean, use it because on. you're waiting. Okay. So, so why it does damn it? good automation if you know how to? Oh, use it, it does. It does. Yeah, but it's much easier for like I, someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, in, like, I also. Live I, I've. I've listened to like a couple of pro like professional producers. I've listened to people like Project Forty Six, yeah. and I've listened to stuff like Dead Mouse too. And I think that there's actually a major difference though in automations where you can get a little more um, intricate when it comes to Ableton, but in FL Studio you can do a um, lot more. What? That's wrong, but it's wrong to the point where it's like it's really hard to prove that it's wrong because you need to be really yeah. good at FL. Yeah, like I said, that's, that's the, 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 the more you, the more you yeah. learn, well, well, the more you... This, this is what I was going to say. You can make intricate stuff with Ableton, yeah. but you can make complex and very complicated automation with FL Studio. That's what I was going to say. Mm. Well, yeah, but it's, 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 so yeah, it's much easier. Out. Oh, and also, um, Logic Pro is 200 bucks. All right. Oh, it's only 200 right now? Jesus, it's dropped yeah. the price. Wow. Um, if I, so if, you, like you still need a, you still need a Mac though. That's the only problem. You if I may, a powerful one. if I may, just for, to keep the chat, you know, uh, alive and everything, can I just change it to something that everyone, kind of understands? Uh, because, uh, I'm just gonna take a guess in that, you guys are talking about uh, music mixing programs, mixer uh, stands, and all that. <laughs> sorry. No, no, sorry, it's okay. Sorry. Like I absolutely love the Digital fact. Digital audio workstation. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's, I, let's, I absolutely. Let's change, let's, change it, let's change it over to uh, Fluid Dynamics and but, uh, All right, so guys. Holy guys shit! What, fuck? what the hell? <laughs> Come on, we are not. We are not bits. We are not the beta language in Tron Legacy. God fucking damn that emotionally damaging movie. Fucking A, I was expecting something happy. Okay, um, let's just start speaking in French now. Okay, so... Are you feeling the I'm sorry, I was just... Jeff Bridges merging with Jeff Bridges was like, Oh my god, my childhood was better than this fucking movie. Um, Alright, um, what I'm gonna do okay, is... But, I gotta get off because it's like 3 o'clock. I'm gonna get off... I'm gonna... I gotta pull out my charger though, and then I'm gonna be listening to you guys for a little bit. All right, no problem. No problem. Hey, Rogue Puppy, one more. Yeah. I just have one question about that previous subject, please. Um, okay, no, go for it. Go for it. Is it not not logically like Apple Studio? Should I just stick with Apple Studio? Yes. Like, just stick with I would stay the no, actually, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Stick, um, hold on. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go against it. Do what works. Like, uh, if it works for you, then use it. Yeah, but yeah. here's the thing though. It, there there are definitely times where you're gonna go like, I wish I could kind of do this a little bit different. And are just, I just, are, are, okay, no, no, here's the best example. Here's the best example. Um, someone offers you $100,000 to produce something for them, and you're like, all right. And you go to another studio, like a really massive studio to work with them, and you're like, I don't know how to use any of this shit. Like, you know, I, I use FL Studio. That's all I've ever used for, you know, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, however long, you know. That's oh, where yeah, you're going to run into major, major issues. But I'm, so, not, I'm not going professional. I'm that's just, the only, you never know. Well, here, let, let me, let, let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. Okay. Typically, you would only need one, and that's how like many people like Project Forty Six, Afrojack, fucking Feed Me, and many other electronic yeah. people, electronic DJs. They've only used FL Studio. But what I would recommend is that you don't just use FL Studio. I would say if you could, if you do have like a MacBook, I would say well, go just get for Reaper. just get Reaper. Well, no. yeah, but no, I I would say go for Logic. I would also say go for Reaper because here's the thing. Each one of these, each one of these programs actually have stuff that 
the other one does not. Well, it's not only like that they don't. It's just sometimes it's much more in your face, yeah, it's or it works different in a different kind of way. way. Well, no, 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 no. It's, it's a different workflow. But you know, it, it's because like in FL Studio, there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't access except for that one coding thing. But I mean, other way, I mean, just strictly like music-wise, there's nothing you can't do. There's, there's well, no, there's no aspect of the program that you, you know, because you can download your own, you know, BSD thing like use that. I'm not going to forever, but I'm just using it. Well, no, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no, there's no problem sticking with it forever. But it's still worth like learning like Reaper as well, just a little bit. No, but, so like, that way. Here's, here's what I was going to say. Like I, I've noticed that. But, based on my own experiences and everything with Ableton, with FL Studio 2, and with Logic, I would say use all three of them, because here's the thing, you're going to find different sounds and stuff that are both automatically no. built. Well, not quite. I mean, not I, not if, quite. You're using, no, yeah. if you're using the built-in ones, that's kind of bad practice anyway, because people will look at that and go, oh, he's just doing this, this, yeah. and this, I can just... Make no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no, because... If, if you use, like, the default... Set with someone that knew, actually knows their shit and that that's where he's stuck at he's like just kind of there and he's frightened to kind of move out of that space well you gotta remember something too he literally got famous from being a troll in a video game that didn't come out that long ago he was a grown man playing this game and he was just you know being an idiot shit talking people and it's like oh he's the most famous shit talker in this fucking old ass game you know or not, not even that old but like halo 3 yeah. And from there, he's built up his entire career on being this shit talker in this stupid video game. And it's just like, where do you go from there? Yeah. Unless you're an, an insanely intelligent person, like, really, where do you go from there? And I don't feel like he has the intelligence to, you know, properly, I don't know, to just get out of that mindset of, like, I'm the biggest shit talker in the world. Okay. And so, I don't know. But then again, I, I don't know. I don't know. There was one day I was watching him stream, and he ended the stream. Uh, this as after all the leafy drama and all that crap happened. And he was, you know, he was trying to play Rust or whatever on his stream, and his fans were all talking to him, and he was in kind of an okay mood in the beginning, but near the end, a bunch of people started running up to him in this game. It's a live game. Yeah. And they ran up to him, and they were just like, you fucking know him, you fucking know him, I'm fast as fuck, boy, da, da, da. you know, they're doing that kind of shit to him, right? And he just stops, and he stops playing for a second, doesn't even look at his, like, uh, webcam, he's just, like, really upset looking, and he just stopped the stream. Just, like, stopped it, like, ended it. Yeah. And you could, like, see this, like, legit, like, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm so tired. I'm so sad right now. And it was like, wow. And everyone was just like, what the fuck happened? Like, what happened? And then, like, I don't know, a week later or so, he's streaming and he's just, like, laughing. People are running up to him. And he's like, yeah, fuck you or whatever. And he's doing his thing. And then eventually, whenever he played that game, he'd just ignore those people and not care and be going off by other things. But, yeah, that one day when I saw him acting like that, that was what got me really going. Maybe this dude is, like, legit bipolar. Yeah. You know, maybe that's what's really going on here. He's just yes. kind of up and down, up and down. Yeah. You know, or he's just be like, or like you said, it's just that that uh, that that mentality of I can't quite mature, you know, fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, high school to um, college mentality, like you explained for me, it could be that. I mean, I don't know, man. Right. Yeah, he's an anomaly. I mean, I don't, I don't, or enigma. I have no, I, I, I don't think that that's entirely the case because I've watched a couple of his streams where he. Um, I remember it was one stream where it was like it was after the it was just like after the cattle prod incident. I think it was actually on the same night. And what it was is that um, he started he started watching a video about like genetic mutation, mm -hmm. and he actually was able to sit down and actually talk like an intelligent person. Actually think and be able to go on and on like that. And what I think. This is based off of what I've seen a lot from his streams and stuff, and that is, he legit gets triggered, and I, I don't mean just like from yeah normal shit. I I mean straight up from his own Discord. Like for example, when he would go on Discord, and if um when he would go on Discord, or at least initially during his streams. He would go on there and try to jump into different chats and just see what's going on and just basically have people highlighted for a few seconds on his stream. But what would start to happen is that once somebody would start calling him a fucking gnome or a nigger or just start doing going on and on about some of his like notorious comments, he instantly just gets upset, triggered, and just instantly leaves and they end up getting banned. And it's to the point where he doesn't join back in Discord until the very end of the night near the end of his stream, and if somebody calls him a fucking gnome or anything else like that, he does not get on for until the next day, if not later. Yeah. Which is a huge fucking problem. 
Yeah, I mean, but see, I've seen him do the opposite at the same time. I've seen you know people are calling him shit like that, and he's like, oh, well, you're you know I'm richer than you, and he's doing everything. He's doing that whole like yeah, um, yeah, I'm so much better me. than you. You know, are you a YouTuber? Because I have all these subscribers, and you, you don't. And I'm on the beta podcast, and you're not. And I have all this money, and you probably don't. You're probably some basement dwelling fucking nerd. And you know, I mean, I've seen both sides of this guy. Yeah. So that's the weird thing, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's it's weird how, you know. Like you say, uh, one minute you could be having a totally normal conversation, and then he'll just, for no reason at all, flip. Yeah, yeah he'll he'll try and flip the script on you. But I just, I was, the thing that pissed me off was the Jason Sartorius video that he posted, and I I fucking let him know straight up, how fucking dare you do this? How fucking dare you report? on a teenage boy's surfing habits. I don't care if it's if it's public information. I don't care if you think you feel if you truly believe that you have a job to do. One thing you do never one thing you never fucking do ever is report on porn and teenage boys in the same exactly. fucking sense. And he just Amen. shut the fuck up. And I was like People, people, that is the sound of a man who knows he has fucked up. And then he tried, he tried getting on me about... better because he's a fucking 12-year-old. Yeah. I, I've never heard Toxic in the store, but there's another thing that, like, I want to bring up, but, um, it's yeah. a total biscuit, total biscuit thing. Yeah. That was completely, utterly fucked up. If you've seen the Twitter video, like... I hope you die of cancer. That if you know it's a joke or not, I mean, this is so old, dude. Fun. How how many? How, how we've all said nigger in this, and if you're breaking, no, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Like, I haven't. No, I haven't. All no, fucked no, up. No, 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 no. Hold on. But I'm not directing it to anybody. Yeah. You know that's the difference. Okay, but, okay, but what if you and I got in a fight, right? Me and Dana, right now we got in a fight, and you know what my current thing will be, right, right? Okay. So what if we got in a really severe fight, and you went, you know what, Anto? I hope that thing fucking kills you. And I'm like. I am fuck you, right? But then, like, a week later, we talk, and, and, and it's just like, you know what, man, I was fucking sorry. I fucked up. I was in the heat of the moment. I was really pissed off. I mean, for the rest of eternity, are you supposed to be ostracized for it? Man, I, mean, I have people... never said anything about that. Like, ever. Like, never in my life I've directed cancer to anybody. Just like you said about cancer. something else. No, just like you said about something else. Listen to me. I've joked, I've said shit that I've been furious about, like... I said I wanted to dox like somebody, but that was out of anger, and I just quickly fixed myself because I know when I'm angry and I get pissed off about something. Mm -hmm. But I've never like even like like that just went way above my standard, you know? Yeah. Like this is. All right, no. Yeah. No, no. You're you're my devil's advocate here. Stop it! I watched. I watched. I followed Keemstar, and I followed him just before, I followed him before that, too. So I saw that entire video. Part of that video was edited to where the entire thing was out. And it was talking about how, like, Total Biscuit was completely on the aggression. To, it, it was like, you know that person that, there's like two types of, like, people that are like aggressive there's like that passive aggressive where he sends yeah. you sticky notes and then there's full on aggressive where it's like he's throwing a brick at your head <laughs> that, that was that was what total biscuit was like throwing a total was like throwing a brick that, what, no I actually no not a brick he was throwing a concrete slab at Keemstar yeah he was and basically Keemstar was saying what the hell it's like and basically, he wasn't saying, ha I can't re- wait to report your death. He wasn't saying that as, like, he's saying it to him. Mm-hmm. But he's saying, what the fuck, you're acting like, ha I can't wait to report your death. So he did not tell him, I can't wait to report your death because of cancer. But it was based... He did, he did say he had cancer beforehand. I mean, it was definitely in... in no, but what I'm talking about that... What I'm talking about, though, is that, ha I can't wait... To report your death. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about specifically. Yeah. Yeah. These other videos he had made on the same Twitter that were, uh, you know, where which he talked about justify, it. Which it doesn't justify. Doesn't, it doesn't justify, but at the same time, no matter how mad. I mean, sometimes people say shit they don't. You know, they regret later. And we don't own time machines. Mm-hmm. None of us fucking own no, like a time machine. Keemstar no, cannot go back in time. No, you don't, Chef Roman. Keemstar cannot go back in time and change the shit he's done. 
He can't fucking do it. And people continuously holding that shit over his head is yeah, just but stupid. The thing is, you know, he keeps it's like things yeah, that's the, the, the okay. There and you go. There's the problem. It. There's the problem. Right. So, so like looking at like the grade A stuff and all that, it's fucking stupid because it's like, yeah, he did all those bad things. Okay, that's his past. Is he gonna continue doing them? And then every time he does, that's where you call him out. You know, it's like, look, you, you haven't you learned your fucking lesson? Haven't you learned your lesson yet, man? You know, and, and every time he fucks up more and more and more and more, that's where you can kind of start really getting on his ass. But when you got guys like Grade A just trying to get a million subscribers because, you know, it's like, oh, he did all these things. Let's, I mean, like right now on Discord, if I got famous tomorrow or whatever, I mean, my God, you can go back and find every goddamn horrible joke I've ever made on here. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Antomar said the N-word 10,000 times on Discord and never against anyone, but he still says it, you know, or whatever. He told people to die in a fire. He hopes they were in fucking Italy when that earthquake happened. Oh, what an asshole. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's just, I mean, seriously, think about it. You know, you, you can go back and you go, damn, what kind of things have I really said here? We're talking hours and hours and hours on end. And like, you go and they, they take these little clips of him on like battle cam or playing Halo or doing this or doing that. And going like, see, this is but the type like, of person he is. You're building up your that, own fucking narrative because, around this guy. Because well, of enough. the way that he acts but, currently, you're able to make the assumption that this is the way he's probably acted in the past. It's like, yeah, like it, it's it, it's a uh, stimulus thing because his audience is in the teenage years where they think the most the most asinine, fucked up shit is hilarious. And he gets a positive reaction from them. He keeps repeating the behavior, and the cycle just keeps continuing. It's a uh, yeah. it's a uh, feedback loop of positive uh, reinforcement of negative yeah. content. I, I've never thought about that either. Yeah, that's really interesting. Thank you. Uh, he's like a mixed bag. Like that's all of it. It's just. Honestly, yeah. He's a but it, it, does, it does go back to no, you know that was an excellent point right there. As it goes back to like you know, like I said earlier, you know, that he's starting off as the troll, you know, and that's what got him that you know, that's what we got him about famous. This. We most, this the most famous. The I know. Yeah, we talk, yeah, we did yeah, we did. Um and he got that movie. Yeah, well listen, he got that, you know, uh, positive reinforcement when he did the trolling shit in Halo. And then when he comes from there and he's like, you know, calling people the N word and doing all this shit, right? And he's and he's getting once again the positive reinforcement. You know he's you know Morgan's one hundred percent right. He doesn't know any other way to really act because no matter what, whenever he comes back to that one thing that he does best, everyone goes, oh, that's Keemstar. He gets that big reaction, whether good or bad. You know, it's a reaction, and suddenly it's like, yes, I'm right back. You know, into that like everyone's paying attention to me again. You know, and so, but really, that does make him look like a child in a way too. You know, because you got to at one point go like, look, even though I'm doing something, it's getting a reaction. Is it a good thing or you know? It's like if I go outside right now and I let some random guy, I say like, like okay, like Paris Hilton, for example. You know, it's like she, she I don't know. Um, uh, the I'm way he drew penises on the pictures of celebrities it was like, haha, see this dickhead kind of deal. Kind of, um, yeah. Yeah. I, there, I can think of something. Remember how Miley Cyrus went through the entire fucking bullshit that she had? Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's basically where if she got if she got clean for a couple of years, started actually dressing and acting normal for a change, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden just throws it all away and starts acting the same way again after years of getting better and basically repairing the bullshit that she went through. Yeah. That's a that's essentially what we're talking about. Yeah, pretty much. And but I I, I have to say, out of the three, Keemstar is the one that I've always been curious about because he's the most random, but at the same time, the strangest. I don't think I've ever. He's somebody that I don't think I've ever really been able to truly understand out of that podcast. Like, I, I can understand Colossal. I can understand Top Me C. But with, like, the spontaneous and just just the amount of ignorance and arrogance and the audacity that he has, it's almost mind-baffling. I mean, I, I talk... Babbling? Mind-babbling? Mind-baffling. <laughs> I like mind babbling better. Fuck off. <laughs> no, yeah. seriously, it, it's That's actually a compliment. That word that you just, you know, even though you meant a different one, mind babbling, it perfectly describes uh, Keemstar. Keemstar. Because he is no, like a babbling no, 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 no. brook of both sanity it, it, and chaos. 
Sorry, sanity I, I and can chaos. Tell you, I, I can tell you. He has bipolar, I'm fucking telling you. I yeah. got money on I can tell you what I believe 100% Keemstar is. Okay. Or, like, how I can summarize it in a phrase. And it's ignorance is bliss. Yeah. And that, that's usually what it is. I don't think that's it. No, I don't think that's it at all. Because he's making money. He's making, you know, he's got so much fucking attention right now. I mean, I think there are times when he legit likes it, and there are times where he doesn't. There are times he can walk out his door and just goes, everyone fucking loves and hates me right now. My life is beautiful. And then there are days where he's at home with his 12-year-old daughter going, she's going to be 13 tomorrow. And she's going to be going to high school. And she's going to be, or 14 or whatever. She's going to be seeing, you know, all these videos about me and how much people hate me and blah, blah, blah. blah. I mean, it's got to be an up and down for him, no matter what, because of his uh, subscriber base and everything. Exactly. That's that's the point I was trying to make when I posted the blog a while back that kind of... It did. At first, I kind of blasted Keemstar a little bit, but then I was like, you know what? I said what I need to say to him. I got all that out of my system. Who I'm really worried about is his daughter. daughter. Yeah. Because how is she going to see him after discovering his content? What the reaction to that content is? Is he going? Is she going to accept him, or is she going to gradually just push him away? And he really has to think about that. Yeah, because right now, she, you know, that's daddy's, you know, dad, he's her hero right now. I mean, right now he's her hero, and soon he's, she's going to find out that her hero is really a villain, and that's such a sad thing, and then how's she going to have to react around her friends? You know, and it, it really does, you know, we've talked, Roman, we, I think we talked, wait, are you still here? No, he's not. Um, we, we do this on a podcast, we were talking about it, but yeah, I mean, it, it is a, a scary thought, and I'm sure that goes through his head constantly, man. Yeah. I mean, it's got to, and if it doesn't, he's a fucking moron. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, no worries about the... Uh, catching it I've been I meant to say this like when I first started uh, recording but for the past 15 minutes I've gotten uh, everything so no worries about it what, what, um, yeah boy in, in terms of like with Keemstar I think it's also just like a bit of a backlash like let me, let me say this and I, I can say this because of my godmother because she was kind of the same way ah. what it was is that I use my godmother as an example. So she, up to like, up to when she was thirty, she was always she always acted between that college to high school like mindset where yeah. you just party all day and have sex. It's just the idea of who gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit. You can act what you want, do what you want. Nobody's gonna fucking care. Yeah. Once the reality kicks, once the reality check kicks in, oh shit, the damage is already done. So you might as well just go with it. Yeah, it's, uh, and that, it's a frightening that's prospect. Kind of what I see. That, that's kind of what I see in Keemstar, because like, he's talked about how he always wants to shape up, and yet he always tries to apologize for his mistakes. Yeah, the more I sometimes watch his stuff, and I sometimes watch his streams, the more that I see... That's not the case. Yeah. He's... But Gavin already explained this. He already explained it perfectly. It's, it's like every single time he, he kind of does shape up, he's not getting that response anymore. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. And then, and then you know, that positive reinforcement or negative or whatever makes him, you know, repeat the same mistakes over, or, or at least, uh, let's say, repeat, you know, have the same patterns, I guess, um, over and over and over again. Because every time he does, like, shape up, suddenly he's not popular anymore because that's what he's known as. King Star is known as the rat, the gnome, the asshole, the fucking whatever the hell you want to call him. You know, and so he doesn't have that love and hate anymore. He's going to have to do something. He's going to have to lash out. But, I mean, you know, so, I mean, it's, I don't know, I think Gavin hit it right on the head, honestly. I mean, I think he hit it right on the head, and I think it's a combination of that personally and bipolar as well. Yeah. I really just can't get that bipolar kick because it's, you know, I also see that as well with him. Sometimes he is getting the positive and negative reinforcement, and it's, like, so amazing. It's so high up and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, and but you still see that depression in him. And it's like, okay, you know, something's going on. And it could just be personal life shit, that, too. I mean, it, you know, we're, we don't know him as a fucking person. That's the biggest thing you know, that you're looking at people about when they're just like, he's a fucking piece of shit. This guy's a racist and a horrible person. It's like, well, have you met him? Like, literally met him? Like, shook his hand and talked to the guy, like, literally face to face? Well, no, I talked to him on Discord once. Yeah, but <laughs> that doesn't mean jack shit. Like, you know, I mean, we're all sitting here kind of, like, making our own, like, like, you know, like, really analyzing somebody based on a 
character that maybe we've talked to over Discord or we've watched on YouTube mm-hmm. or we've, you know, uh, listened to in a podcast. But, I mean, the reality, sadly, is none of us don't like, know him. We don't know about his personal life. We don't mm-hmm. know if, like, right now he's maybe going through a breakup or his daughter is, um, you know, maybe doing drugs. I mean, not that we, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, I mean, hopefully that's, you know. I'm just saying, like, we don't really know what the real human being. That's the, the biggest issue when it comes to, uh, you know, making up your mind absolutely about mm-hmm. the man. Because yeah. you don't really know the man, you yeah. know. And that's another thing I want I to just... uh, talk about. No worries, man. It'll just take a minute or two. Trust me. Um, when I talked to him, when I the very first thing I said was, I am so excited to meet you because I have so much I want to say to you. But first and foremost, let me just say these three things. The first being, you are a wonderful parent. The second being, I'm sorry your marriage didn't work out. And the third being, I admire you uh, for the simple fact that you've busted your ass to get to the point you've uh, been at, through the highs, through the lows, through everything. That aside, everything that aside, and then I just kind of vented at him. And and he he was like, um, first off, the mother of my child which means it, he wasn't married or he was married but then they got divorced but because things weren't really working out they're still living together um, and either that before he had uh, his daughter or after he had his daughter so bef- if before then that would mean that the kid is his legitimately but if after the divorce that would mean that his daughter is uh, illegitimate and could at any point in time be taken away by a really just brutal custody battle. Custody battle. Yeah. Alright, yeah. uh, you were saying? No, I mean, no, yeah, no, I, 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 I think I made my point, but that, that's a really... Huh. Yeah. He's dealing with personal issues and he's dealing with just like internet persona on top of all this mm-hmm. well, really makes we, don't, we, don't, yeah, we don't exactly know that's happening though I mean, what's no, but, no 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 but like it could yeah it that could, possibly yeah. Like, yeah yeah there's possibly. a very yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like the only reason I'm not talking is because like you guys are just like you know you actually have talked to King Star like well that didn't mean jack shit I've talked no, on this I, I know I well, like, talking with him is still like talking that. with him, even if it's only, like, yeah, you, a shade you know, of him. Yeah. No, yeah, you've seen a shade of Keemstar that I've never seen before. And I've always thought, like, Keemstar is an asshole because I've always felt, like, I've always followed Leafy, okay? Like, this was the, like, yeah. So, but now be coming into this community and seeing that, hey, this person is an asshole, like, it just changes your mind, you know? Like, you found these people used to be, like, someone else you know oh, yeah. but then hearing the, yeah like here i'll give you an example if you know this youtube youtuber called rebel taxi right, right. i've talked to him many times no yeah I see, I've, never, I've talked to him many times about you, you guys but, um this guy i actually knew him like oh my god you knew rebel Ta- you know rebel taxi you know what the first thing he said to me was what asshole <laughs> so like i'm like oh okay like it just boggles your mind because you've been following well, I've been following a lot of YouTubers and finally going to a community full of YouTubers. It's just, what the fuck? You know? Well, and here's, here's something that I like about Discord because you're at least able to talk to people that are like YouTubers. You are able to actually have a conversation with them and you are somewhat able to know behind the person behind that YouTube channel or behind that character that you love and enjoy to watch. However, well, I, I, I've seen a big problem, and it's that none of the YouTubers actually do that. You know? You mean? Yeah. You mean, you, mean, you mean they always keep their persona going, or do you mean, what do you mean? No, 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 no. no. What, what I'm saying is that, di- all right, Discord is a nice place, yes. and it's because, for example, you're able to create channels, you're able to do stuff that you can be able to, uh, Fuck, I need it. Oh wait, I, I I got it. I can I can. Okay, you're Don't able to I, I you're able that. to create servers in which there are tiered levels of um, moderate moderative and administrative power 
granted to those that you can trust. And if you're a uh, big time YouTuber, uh, you can pop in and out whenever you please. But what I think he's trying to get, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that most YouTubers outside of the, uh, I, I don't want to, well, yeah, tabloid channels, because that's in actuality what they are. They're reporting on the yeah, goings-ons of the um, uh, YouTube channels, not the prank channels, because those fuckers are assholes. I mean, they may behave differently off-camera, but they are fucking social terrorists, and FoosyTube deserves all of the fucking hate he gets. Um, okay, that aside... Outside of all the other genres of uh, tubers out there, the only ones that consistently visit Discord are the uh, tabloid uh, channels themselves because they need to keep abreast of like what's going on and everything else. But as with a gaming one, since they're so busy getting uploads ready, focused on their own lives, their own goings-ons, they don't have that time to really interact with uh, their fan base outside of like, oh, here's the uh, comment with the most likes, here's the Tumblr post with the most sense, here's what, everything else, and something else. So I think that's the point he was trying no, to get at. Well, here's what I'm, no, well, you only hit, you only scratch the surface of what I was going to say. Okay. The problem with Discord that I've noticed, especially with people like Keemstar and others, is that with, with Discord, it's a good idea because what I could do is, for example, if I was on Keemstars or if I was on Pyrocynicals, James Keys or anything, I could actually set up a voice channel where everyone could go into that channel, could flock into that channel, and a bigger YouTuber or somebody important like Hyojin, like Skyfall, like Pyrocynical, like Joel, and many others could go in there and talk, but everyone else in there is muted so that way, like, they're not spammed, you don't have to deal with toxic shit, and then if you, and if you want to ask or say something to them, all you have to do is ask, and then they can unmute you, that way you can actually talk to them. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying here. Discord is nice because you can actually talk to some of the people that you've idolized and that you always love to enjoy to watch. Yeah. But the problem is, is that once you start doing that, again, with, like, Keemstar and with Am Dino. Now you actually start to see their true colors and yeah. see something that's completely different based off of what you've seen. It's and not only ruin it for you. Yeah, in essence, it's yeah. like that no, old saying, you that, never want to meet your heroes often. because the people will you, never uh, yeah. actually live up to the expectation that you set for them. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, but let, let, me, let me continue, though. Okay. But another problem is that with Discord... Because of this, though, none of the you, nobody understands that if you are somebody that's important, you should set up a channel that everyone is muted except for people that are extremely higher up, such as mods, anything that like a YouTuber or anything that you think is extremely important, mm -hmm. and up. Yeah. That way you can actually talk. That way you. That way your own fans can listen to you. Yeah. And that way, too, your fans can talk to you, too. But everybody's afraid of that because just like James no. E, just like Keemstar. No, 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 because here's the deal. Like, Dylan the Hacker, you know, I was helping him out for a long time with his channel. Like, when yeah. he, when we when have day one, yeah, it was chaos. But the more time he spent just, like, talking to everyone, eventually the chaos died down. And there was, like, you know, a thousand or something, two thousand, whatever, people started joining. And after a while, it just became like, oh, he's one of us. You know, if you go to Mr. Repsion's server right now, he's in general every goddamn day, and no one's muting anyone. You don't have to have that hierarchy. If you just go, you know what, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to have a lot of fucking fans, it's going to be hard at first, and then stick it out. Trust me, after a day or two or three, it works out. It does. Oh, um, yeah. Except I, for Zaptize. Uh, yeah, I'm well aware of that effect. Where... Yeah, but with Zaptize, it's because they have private chats. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's the issue with YouTubers, is they, you will see them in the private chat, and you don't even, like... Like, you just wait in the general chat for, like, two hours, and they never come down. Yeah. Like, unless so there's a point, like, 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 mostly that they're fooling around, and it pisses me off. Like, I can never talk to Yeah, but you people. don't, but that, but you know, you understand, too, though. They don't want to talk about their job. Yeah. You know, no, I mean, not, back when no, I was I doing know, my I, shit I, on I, YouTube, I, it was... I know, I'm just... Uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, but, I mean, that was... Your frustration is really noted. Because, um... Oh, sorry, you were saying? Oh, yeah. Like, I get what I'm saying, it's because, like, you view Discord as a way to reach them, it's 
Oh, you're so close. I'm going to chat right next to them. Yeah, there's still a hierarchy that blocks you from talking to them with the locked chat. So it's always as if you're not worthy to speak to them anymore. Yeah. 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 Or oh, they still don't want to talk to them. I've been like. I've been in many communities with the hierarchy, and it's just utter bullshit. Mm-hmm. I understand, like, no, like, like utter bullshit. I swear, I've been oh, in yeah. five other communities, and um, like, it's just bullshit. And if it can't keeps on continuing, it's gonna get worse and worse. And like, I'm not well, saying, and, and like, it's not, it's, I'm not those saying, channels like, shut down really, or servers shut down real quick when when it keeps. I mean, look at how bad Colossal Server is. Like every other month or every other week on or day at this point, it's constantly breaking completely down and then having to be built up again. I mean that's the thing. After a while, people do get tired of it. You yeah. know, I mean it's it's. I mean, and that's it's why it's I'm the... saying that like with Discord, the problem is is that if YouTubers or important figures like Londo, Eli, Zapti, and many others come in, you need to actually get into those chats. Again, I, I, what I said is that, what I said was based on how people have acted in Zapdice whenever Pyrocynical got on. Because when Pyrocynical yeah. got on at one point, yeah. it was toxic. Yeah. yeah. It was absolutely toxic. That the mods good. were constantly spammed with absolute shit saying, move me up, move me up. Same thing with the admins. Oh, God, yeah. And it was just a general, it was just a general shit fest, which is why I said, if you were to have a channel where everyone is muted except for important figures, mod or staff or the owner, then I think that would be fine. Then that would actually start to encourage people like Zaptai, Eli, that are usually sitting in private to actually come down and sit in a general chat. Yeah. And um, that's the problem. Nobody's understanding this, though. Actually, I, the way I, I set up every- my... Pardon me for interrupting. Um, the way I set up my server, um, because... Even though you guys don't generally know me, you you only know me from this initial chat, and Roman knows me from my Twitter videos, my streams, and everything else in which I just... I know you because I know Days. Yeah, yeah. Days knows you, so yeah. So, uh, the way I set up my uh, server was, every level had its own individual chat, where only the uh, role named, as well as the uh, admin and mods, can I get into it? So. Well, that's what we just did today, really, honestly. It's a... Mm. Yeah. It went out of the blue. And so today we had to kind of do that for, God, four or five hours, going through and just kind of setting up that, that hierarchy. So now the junkies can go into their own chat room and soak in all of, you know, like, the mods and everything. And we've had to kind of, like, do that now here because there's days where there's 20, 30, 40 people in one goddamn, you know, general chat all screaming and yelling at each other. And then people end up leaving and getting upset or you know i mean all kinds of crap happens it just becomes chaos yeah. and so yeah it, it's it sucks in a way i really wish that you know there was a better way of doing it but like also like i have general quiet here you can see like on the left mm-hmm. and i keep telling people like look when it gets too hectic in here if you want to just chill and talk to someone you're playing chess maybe online or whatever go to general quiet the yeah. second you do everyone follows you they want to go where the people are talking yeah. always and then if you just leave completely then everything dies yeah. And it's really weird. Like, like that's what I was telling you before um, when you very first asked something about, uh, you know, I don't know if you were joking around or what, but you said something about how to keep the server alive. I mean, you know, I've, I've helped so many people get their servers going, and Ooh. it was always like, okay, I would just take literally three days out of my life because I was friends with them or whatever and sit in voice chat, just sit here like this. Yeah. And, you know, just being in here, people naturally join because they see like, oh, shit, this server's alive, people are talking. Um, I leave and everyone vanishes. And I have that same effect now in here because, I mean, I'm nobody, really. I mean, not in this particular community, I'm a nobody. And so, um, like, people just follow me around because I'm, like, that guy that people see on different servers as the admin or the guy always in voice chat, mm-hmm. you know, or, or I'm that guy that, hey, isn't that dude sounds like Elvis Alien, which I don't. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, what was the fucking point I was getting at? You know what? I just forgot the point I was getting at. It's, I'm going to go shut the it's door. It's the uh, that, Oasis that. Mirage effect where yes, you... Thank- where, That's where I was going. Okay, you understand where I'm going? Okay, for those yes. that don't understand the Oasis Mirage effect, it's where imagine everyone that joins the server or joins your personal server as one of those tattered, beleaguered, dehydrated sons of bitches you see wandering through the desert going, Water! Or water! Or whatever you're using. Hello. 
Dear Casey Neistat, 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 sorry I'm just a little bit hungover at the moment. I had three beers during the live stream, got a little bit emotional, got a little bit real talk, but other than that, I'm wearing pajama bottoms and sleeves because my vest doesn't come with sleeves themselves. More importantly, I'm voting Hillary Clinton. I don't really care if, if subs get lost or subs get gained or whoa, your reasoning or whatnot. I'm just voting for her, A, because I'm Democrat, she's Democrat, B, because it'd be a breaking that ultimate glass ceiling. Oh shit. C, because you know what, people that say, oh, you shouldn't pick one candidate over the other on YouTube because it's breaking TOS. Oh, fuck you. Just fuck off. Uh, Phil, I I'm sorry if you're fucking scared by the fact that you might need to choose one candidate over the other, but uh, maybe it's time that, you know, I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying that your backbone, it needs to grow up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more so that way you can stand up tall like a goddamn palm tree. And I'm not calling you uh, boneless either because shit, we have enough of that shit with, you know, we ain't so much. <clears throat> what I'm saying is that Casey does have a fucking point. Now, normally I wouldn't be making a response video to you in like pajama bottoms with sleeves on it. Yay! I'm warm. Anyways, the point being that, you know, you should feel brave enough with your platform to, oh, I, I, I don't know, state plainly who you want to vote for. Not just play this, oh, well, I don't want to vote for him because blah, 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 blah. I don't want to vote for her because blah, 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 blah. Because essentially, you're playing devil's advocate for both, and coward's advocate for none. Because, yeah, I get that politics is uh, pol two issues: politics and religion, deeply divisive, deeply personal, deeply everything else. But this is an election where we cannot, Phil, we cannot afford to pick sides. Not one fucking bit. Now. The reason why I'm voting for Hillary Clinton and not uh, Donald J. Dork, but is because um, a I don't want a fucking racist uh, elected to the most powerful office in in the world, where he'd have access to nuclear codes and everything else, and I, I don't know, you know, just booting people off out of the U.S. because of one reason or another. I mean, this is a man who literally has just to say two words in order for someone to get kicked the fuck off his, his what was his TV show. You're fired. And this is also a guy who, oh, I don't know if you've even been paying attention to the fucking news lately, Phil, but, um, shit. He got busted because he said something before before he was a politician, just some snot no celebrity that was going, ah, I grab women by the and everything else, and it's okay. And then Billy Bush, who was like, he was working, he's like, ah, well, who would you have to choose between Trump and us? And the woman was like, ah, fuck both of you. Okay? I'm voting for Hillary Clinton because, you know what, fuck it, that's who I'm voting for. Okay? I don't care if. Anyone challenges me on that, I'm still gonna vote for her. I don't care if anyone wants subs from me from that because you know what, I'm gonna vote for her. Trump may be the most popular guy because hey, he has the balls to say what other people are thinking, but you know what? Fuck that guy. If everyone had the balls to say what they were thinking, Trump would just be another asshole who, you know, sexually assaults women many years in between. He. he Okay, I don't know if you know this, Phil, but um, and I'm not harassing you. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just stating the fucking, pa the, the fucking facts. During the Miss Teen USA, he went into a 10-year-old uh, dressing room. And the kid went like, oh shit, I, there's a man in here. And he's like, and the... That kid over there, that kid, I'm gonna be dating that kid in 10 years. And then I went more male, Marlon Brando than fucking Donald Trump. But yeah, you pretty much get the 
the gist of it, right? Anyways, so that beyond everything else does kind of have me fucking worried because hey, you know what, Phil? You know what? When uh, when you say well, I'm not gonna vote for this person or I'm not gonna vote for that one person because this person said da 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 da. It's more than about subs. It's more than YouTube, okay? This is the most important choice that you could ever make, okay? This is about which direction the history of the United States goes. Either to the left, where Hillary Clinton does do to do to do, or to the right, where Donald Trump goes ba 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 ba. Now, if you want do to do to do, then maybe you should like do your part and stop bitching and stop being such a fucking coward. Because I watched your video and, you know, that is exactly what the fuck I saw. I, I did not see a man secure with his family. I saw a man that was like, oh shit, I don't want to lose subs because we keep growing. The fact that if you stay your opinion you won't lose subs yes we'll lose subs but in time they will grow and it's all about motherfucking interaction you do know that right youtube ad revenue is not driven by the by the amount of subs you gain or lose it's driven by the amount of content interaction i don't know what the fuck you're even so fucking afraid of just you know do your fucking part and steer this country in the right direction now as for casing the stat he fucking nailed it on the goddamn head. Donald J. Trump is not a guy that needs to be president. He's not a guy that actually wants to be president. To him, to Donald J. Trump, to Donald I grab women's uh, crotches without their consent. J. I may or may not have ancestral feelings towards my daughter. Trump <clears throat> This is all a game to him, a contest. He even said himself at the beginning of his at the beginning of his campaign, if he doesn't win, he's probably just gonna walk away from it because you know what? Fuck it. And watch, watch, just you watch. He is going to walk away. I don't care if this only gets five views or ten views or twenty views or whatever views. I'm calling. I'm calling it right here. Donald J. Trump. Three days from election. As soon as the numbers coming he is gonna walk away just fucking walk the shit away and you know what he might be he might be there to win he might there, be there to, to build a giant wall to keep all the immigrants out to keep all the muslims out there you know fucking around and everything but you know what when it comes time to uh draw strings or kick back he's gonna fucking kick back you know what i'm saying phil you know what i'm saying huh all right, so case in the stat two, case in the stat. This, these next two minutes, directly to you, my man. Case in the stat. Okay, you are awesome. You have the bravery, the courage, and yes, I'm gonna call it the fucking backbone and the ribs and the fucking headphones to say what the fuck is on your mind. Okay, you're voting for Hillary Clinton because you do not want an asshat like Donald Trump, like Donald J. Motherfucking Trump, to uh become the next president of these United States. <clears throat> uh, it's not about ideology at this point. It's about American fucking history. Who will the American people choose to vote for? Is it, you know, a fucking racist, misogynist, crotch-grabbing son of a bitch that has more uh, hands in it? Hands to bite than an alligator at a golf course in Florida, or is it Hillary Clinton? Yes, stale politics. Yes, blah 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 emails, blah 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 blah, and everything else. Yes, husband with a mysterious, you know, crotch grabbing past and all that. But at the same time, more definitely the heavier hitter than Donald Trump. So thank you so much, Casey, and fuck you, Phil, for uh, you know not stating the case more clearly. You know what? This is not everyone's choice for who they're voting for is you know, deeply personal to to themselves. But at the same time, Phil, at the same motherfucking time, what the fuck are you thinking? Okay? You know for a fact that Donald's gonna lose, right? You you you, you know. I'm not even gonna not even gonna fuck around with that fact. No 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 Mm. 
Yes. State? What the fuck you mean? That's that's my main gripe here. Okay, this uh, Trump is a man who treated the town hall like an hour and a half platform for him to just lob attack at, attack at, attack at. Until, you know, he didn't have any time left. He's like, attack at, attack at, attack at. Oh shit, out of mind. And all that. So maybe, 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 maybe just do your, do your own thing and all that. Casey, just keep spreading the love, baby. You are all. You are awesome. Sorry, it's a late night and it's already at uh, probably fuck 4 a.m. at this point. Anyways, so if you like this video, hit that subscribe, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you like a beast in the next video. Peace. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should. Oh, good. More, uh, here's that one. No, here's that one. No beer in that one. That is great and wonderful. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. So, you just beat, 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 I do your bar for America, but love the for Hillary Clinton. And if you know people or famous YouTubers that aren't voting for Hillary Clinton, just let them be. Let them enjoy the ignorance of their own future. Feel the bubble and everything. Come on. Everyone deserves the right to vote how they wish to vote. Maybe. Even if that way to vote is largely ignorant, uh, wig wearing, uh, I don't know how that's doing, baby. Just let them be in their own world. That's it. Peace.